Prince Charles and Camillo will be visiting Commonwealth nations in the Caribbean for their next royal tour this month, according to Clarence House. Where are Prince Charles and Camilla going? The Duke and Duchess of Cornwall will be traveling to the Caribbean on March 17 this year for a royal tour. The couple will spend two days in the region traveling around different countries and islands before returning almost a fortnight later on March 29. While there, they will take on some 50 different engagements. Their next tour will take them around six different Commonwealth nations, and they will make a special stop on request of the British government. Where are Prince Charles and Camilla going on their royal tour? Charles and Camilla will visit six different countries in the Caribbean. They will visit these countries in the following order. St. Lucia, March 17. Barbados, March 19. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, March 20. St. Kitts and Nevis, March 21. Grenada, March 23. The Duke and Duchess of Cornwall will also visit ten different islands while in the Caribbean and the overseas territory of the Cayman Islands. After they have completed their duties in the Caribbean, they have been tasked by the British government to visit Cuba. According to the Prince of Wales' official website, Prince Charles has visited 45 of the 53 Commonwealth nations. Camilla, on the other hand, has only visited 21 of these in tandem with her husband. This will be the first time both Camilla and Charles have visited Cuba. They will land in the country on Sunday, March 24, for a trip which is meant to highlight similarities between Cuba and the UK. This includes exploring cultural and academic connections, and themes of arts, youth entrepreneurship, heritage restoration and sustainable agriculture. The royal visit to Cuba could end up being a particularly important visit for future international relations. No prime minister has yet set foot in communist Cuba, but organizing a royal visit exercises a soft power according to the Daily Telegraph. This is because while the royals are a kind of UK official, they exercise no governmental power. Since Barack Obama laid groundwork for international relations by visiting the country in 2016, the government is likely testing what can be done to improve relations between Cuba and the UK. This means Charles and Camilla's visit could end opening more definitive political dialogue between the two countries in the future.